Welcome back to What's New. It is Tech Tuesday. You know the drill. Each Tuesday, we bring you big news in the tech world, and we have two topics to discuss today. That's right. First up, a new AI chatbot rolled out today from Google. It's called Bard, and it's available right now to a limited number of users in the U.S. and Britain, with more countries to come. Now, unlike its competitors, Bard is a separate web page from Google.com. This is tricky for Google because it could sway people to only use the chatbot instead of Google to get instant answers, but Google executives hope it can become an asset to its other products. Right now, Google is only allowing a limited number of people to use Bard. If you log on to bard.google.com, you can sign up for a wait list. Huh. Yeah, I know. Now to our next story. How real-life people in Buffalo, New York are chatting only online to improve their dating life. A private Facebook group was created recently for women in the area who use online as their primary way of dating. It has more than 43,000 members already. They can use the group to get this, flag men who aren't a great dating candidate. Uh-oh. And to find out if they're dating the same guy as someone else. Uh-oh. It comes with its skepticism, though. One woman, who is also a domestic violence survivor, says she ended up seeing its perks. Initially when I saw it, I was like, there's a lot of gossip going on here and that's not particularly something I'm like involved in. But as I grew to see like another purpose behind the site is when I kind of became intrigued by it. Other people have gone through what I've gone through and they have the courage to warn other women. And I didn't have that courage. So now it's kind of almost made me want to you know, like share my story. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I mean, we looked. Uh, it turns out there is a page just like this in our area. So if Clevelanders want to check out the guy they're dating, you can do that. It allows users to post anonymously or they can use their identity. It says that it hopes to provide an atmosphere of female empowerment. Now, my first thought is... Um, there are bad female dates. Mm -hmm. mm, why not have one that men can go to to check in on the women that they're dating? I bet you there's a there's an app for that. I'm so, sure somebody will come up right with now. something, right? Yeah, I do think that th this is helpful, but also the one thing that scares me is the anonymity of it. It, it kind of has a bathroom wall feel to it. Yeah. Um, well, I think somebody, too, who gets their feelings hurt could really psh, sink the ship yeah. to somebody else. Yeah, you could torpedo somebody unfairly. Do your research, girls. You know that. You know that anyway. This, this is true. All 